hello and welcome to a new affinity photo tutorial now in one of the facebook groups that i'm in a lady called uh, liana who's obviously very much a beginner at um, photo editing and affinity photo as well asked the question how could she make the grass much brighter much greener in her image and various people put various answers and obviously because she's a beginner she didn't fully understand some of those answers so I offered to make her this video to sort of help guide her to answer those questions now obviously you don't have to just stick to grass I mean if you wanted to do this to the sky you would you know use the blue rather than the green options that I'm going to look at but I'm stick mainly to what she asked about which is the grass and the green in the picture. So this picture I got from Pixabay and as I'm going to show you six different methods I'm going to duplicate the original picture six times and work on each one individually. So I could do this by either right clicking the layer and coming down to duplicate or as I'm on a PC I can use Control and J and I think a Mac is Command and J so I want another five of these so should be two four. So I'm going to turn the visibility of all these off, and just for the sake, so you know what's going on, I'm just going to call this one original. And this is I'm going to keep there mainly for comparison and sort of no other real reason, except for later on when we use blend modes, but. So this first one, we're going to look at vibrance. Now, before I do that, I just want to say, I'm not saying that any one way is the best way to do it. Um, you can do this in, like I can say, six different ways. And there probably are others as well. But one, you want to work with the way you feel most comfortable with. And two, one way might work better on some pictures and not on others or with some colours and not with others so pick the one you like and sort of use whichever one you want so the first one we're going to do is add vibrance now down the bottom here in the layers panel there's this half black and white circle if you click on that you get the adjustments so if you come up to vibrance what that will do it will add the vibrance adjustment and I made the slight mistake there of having the bottom layer highlighted rather than the layer above above it which is what I wanted um, because when you add the adjustment it will place that layer above the one that was highlighted now as I only want this to affect just this layer I'm going to make it a child of this layer now the easiest way would be to click on the icon and drag it down to the right until you get that sort of blue line that doesn't come all the way across it only goes to the end of the icon for the layer below but for novices who sort of struggle with that the easiest way to do this is come up to the arrange menu and come down to move inside and as you can see that will make that a child layer of that layer and it will only affect that layer so making sure that the vibrance adjustments is highlighted you can then increase the vibrance um, you may not necessarily be able to see this on your screen but I've pushed this right up to a 100% if I just turn that visibility off you can see that's the original below and that is how much greener and brighter that has made just using the vibrance you do also have saturation which is a much more sort of more of global um, alteration it will change all colors the saturation of all colors whereas vibrance it sort of 
is much more subtle and it may not pick the colour that you want. It sort of increases the saturation of the colours it, it believes need it rather than just every colour that's in the picture. So if vibrance doesn't work you could go with saturation and in that case you might need to knock back say the sky because you just want it on the grass. Now because this is an adjustment it has a layer mask already attached to it which is this white icon here so we can come to the paintbrush tool make sure it's on black and let me just increase the size of this a second and, and making sure that the adjustment is selected I can come along here paint over the sky area and remove the saturation effect of the sky but leave the saturation in the grass area so let's and obviously I'm not being too precise here I'm just doing it quickly so you can see that icon now has got sort of it's not now solid white it is now got the black area from where I painted so if I now turn that off and on hopefully you can see how much brighter and greener the grass is so I will turn that off and let me rename this Vibrance so that was that adjustment and I will come to the next one and make that layer visible and we'll now look at a HSL adjustment so again come to this black and white circle and come up to HSL now by default let me come off this tool a second by default the HSL adjustment starts in this channel here which is all colors so when you if you increase the saturation at this point you have now it will affect all colors but as we only want to affect the green if I click on the green dot here it will now only affect the green channels so and you do have these four dots here which is all the colors within this area are the colors that will be affected by the sliders below now you can increase or lower these areas by moving these dots inwards or outwards and the most or the biggest area or most effect will happen within these two central dots and have a lesser effect out to the outside nodes and dots so I've reduced the area that will be affected and I will increase the saturation and you probably wouldn't increase this up to 100% but I've increased this to 100 hopefully so you can see it and much like before the adjustment is above and I want this to be a child of that layer so I'll come to arrange and move inside so it will only affect that layer so if I close that and I turn that off and on you can see how much difference that adjustment has made so let me rename that one HSL and then much like before if there was any green that was in the sky obviously there isn't but if there was something that was green that you didn't want to be affected you've got the layer mask on here so you can get the paintbrush paint over it and then that won't be affected by the adjustment so that is that one out of the way and we'll move on to the next one and I'll make that visible so we are going to now try a channel mixer adjustment so again come down to the adjustments and channel mixer and again I want this to be 
a child layer, so I'll do arrange and move inside. And because green is made up of yellow and blue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the blue channel and I'm going to reduce the amount of blue in the picture so that it will make the grain sort of much more yellow and brighter. So if I reduce this down, I'll say to about there, and then close that. Now obviously I've affected the blue in the sky. So again, like before, making sure that that is the layer selected. Get the paintbrush tool, make sure it's on black. Come back to the sky, paint over it. And probably a bit in the trees as well. Again, I'm doing this very quickly so it's not very subtle. And reduce the brush size. And do in there, around there, very quickly. There you go. So turning that on, that's what that looks like using the channel mixer. And turn that off. Come up to the next one. Make that visible. Now, this one and the next way of doing this, um, you need to have both this image layer and the original image layer visible. They will work together. So if you're going to use this way, you will need to duplicate the original at least once. So you duplicate your image and then you change the blend mode and the blend mode is set up here which currently it is set on normal and I'm going to change this to overlay now again this is a bit over the top you know to a bit too strong so what I'll do is if you reduce this down to like zero and then slowly raise this up and again it's going to affect the whole image but if you're looking to alter the grass just keep an eye on the grass until it has an effect you want and I would say for me personally around the 50% mark is, even that's probably a bit too much let's reduce this down to 40% So, as you can see, that is affecting the grass quite well. But, because this doesn't have an already attached layer mask like the adjustments do, you have to put your own one on. So, with the layer selected, if you come down to this icon here, which looks like the Japanese flag, that says Mask Layer, click on that. It will attach a mask to the highlighted layer. So again, you can come to the paintbrush tool, make sure black is selected, and like before, paint over the sky to bring back the blue colour, and that pretty much is okay, I think. Very quickly done, so turning that on and off, you can see how much that overlay has affected that so let me change the name of that one to overlay blend do I turn that one off turn the next layer on now this one we're going to use a different blend mode I'm going to change to screen now screen makes everything sort of much brighter so again I'm going to reduce this down to you know, near zero and then just slowly bring this up until it's around the 30% mark roughly for this particular picture and much like before I don't want it to affect the sky I'm going to add a layer mask paint brushes on black and 
paint on the mask around there like so very quickly and so so this one was screen so again turning that on and off you can see how it's just affecting the grass and the green in that particular image so that's five different ways of affecting the grass and the last one so I'll turn that layer on now this one come off this tool this one is a tool I very rarely use and I don't know too much about I must freely admit this and somebody suggested this in the answers that Leanne uh, asked about and that was using the sponge tool which is normally I think by default is set on dodge brush if you just click on this little black arrow here one of the options is the sponge brush tool now you got various settings up here and like I said it's not something I use very often um, but you can alter the saturation desaturate vibrance and the HSL saturation um, so I'm going to try and I'll leave it on set on desaturate and HSL and I'll just increase the brush size a second and then I'll just brush over the grass area and we will see what happens it does seem to be noticeably increasing the greens well it's quite good in the tree there in that front part so again this is something you would need to experiment with I'm just going around the tree and the grass and I'll do a bit more up there in the tree right so let me I'll just wait for my machine to catch up so I did so many clicks very quickly it's taken a while to catch up there we go so that's the original which is this layer down here that's the original image and that's very over the top use of the sponge brush tool so so there you have six different ways that you could use to increase the colorfulness or brightfulness of the green in this particular case but you could use it on any other color so you can use a vibrance adjustment HSL adjustment channel mixer adjustments you can add a new layer and use the overlay blend mode add a new layer and use the screen blend mode or you can use the sponge brush tool and experiment with the various settings or look up a video that you know, specifically uses the sponge brush tool as I freely admit I'm not 100% certain what all the different options will do but as you can see it can make it very very bright indeed so thank you for watching and I hope this answers all of Leanna's questions and goodbye